A burned out smoky building, no lights, and people are screaming for help. A frightening scenario for almost anyone. But what if you are in the sixth grade and you have to figure out what to do next? Well, if the building gets on fire. These Alabama sixth graders have been training for three days on emergency preparedness at the space camp in Huntsville, Alabama. They call it Be Ready Camp, sponsored by Alabama Homeland Security and the governor. And this is the finale. Pyrotechnics, smoke, and fire, a simulated plane crash. There's victims in the water, there's a crash site over there, and there's a crash site in Area 51. Medic! Twelve-year-old Tyler C. is the incident commander for Team 3. His task, get on the radio. We need divers! Quickly, quickly at the lake! And coordinate the rescue of crash victims in the water. I had to talk to people, see how many people went, and uh, they told me six, but there were only five heads standing, so I had to call in the rescue team and some divers and a boat. They try to make it as realistic as possible, right down to the blood on the injured bodies, and the kids have to cope with the chaos, the confusion, and sometimes the lack of communication that can happen at a real tragedy. Okay, well, maybe there was a little more confusion here. But at their side stood real firefighters. Paramedics and rescue teams to whisper the right words in their ears. Why go to all this trouble for a bunch of 12-year-olds? The young people that you see tonight will be the next generation soldier, firefighter, police officer, emergency medical technician, doctor and surgeon. After rescuing victims from the water, Sabrina Stevens helped get them on a medevac chopper. One. Two, three, up. This sixth grader once dreamed of being an artist. Not anymore. I'm going to be a firefighter. Really? Mm -hmm. Just from this experience? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's hard to keep sixth graders serious for too long, but there were sobering reminders. I saw some pretty scary things, like one person had a very cut thing with a lot of blood. A night to remember for more than just fun and games. Rusty Dornan, CNN, Huntsville, Alabama.